get ready for a movie adventure like no other. Welcome to Flashback Videos, where we compare and contrast movies from the past and present. From classics to the biggest blockbusters, we'll take you on a journey through the evolution of movies. So sit back, relax, and get ready to see the magic. Now we could never do this without you, so if you love movies, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. That way you'll never miss a chance to see your favourite movies in a whole new light. Today's flashback movie is the final instalment in the prequel trilogy from 2005, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Set during the Clone Wars, it tells the story of the Jedi rescue of Palpatine from Count Dooku and Anakin's role as a double agent between the Jedi Council and Palpatine, as he is lured into a sinister plan to rule the galaxy. Okay, so with all that being said, let's do this. Once again written and directed by George Lucas, this time with the help of John Ostrander and Jan Decemer. The movie was released by Lucasfilm in May 2005, with a running time of 2 hours and 20 minutes. Revenge of the Sith was filmed in Italy with a budget of around $115 million, and it went on to gross to almost $870 million worldwide. Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi and Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker rescued Chancellor Palpatine from General Grievous, the commander of the droid armies, but Grievous escapes. Suspicions are raised within the Jedi Council concerning Chancellor Palpatine. In my opinion, this movie isn't as good as any of the original trilogy, but it's pretty close. It's actually very well done, the special effects don't look so fake, and they give us some really epic scenes. Former Jedi Master Count Dooku, otherwise known as Darth Tyrannus, who is also the puppet leader of the Separatist movement, was portrayed by actor and singer Christopher Frank Carandini Lee, who was born in London in 1922. Lee was persuaded to pursue an acting career by his cousin, the Italian ambassador Niccolo Carandini, in 1946, making his debut the following year in the gothic romance Corridor of Mirrors. Living in London, Lee had been married to Danish painter and former model Birgit Jeet Kronke since 1961 but died in 2015 after being admitted to hospital for respiratory problems and heart failure. A Scottish actor Ewan Gordon McGregor was born in Perth in 1971 and played the part of Jedi Knight Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi, who is the mentor of Padawan learner Anakin Skywalker. He began his career with a leading role in Lipstick on Your Collar and made his movie debut in Bill Forsyth's Being Human. Scotsman McGregor has also starred in Train Spotting and Moulin Rouge, but this is perhaps his best known role. Dividing his time between California and London, McGregor has been married to American actress Mary Elizabeth Winstead since 2022 and they have a son together. Israeli-born American actress Natalie Hirschlag, known professionally as Natalie Portman, was born in Jerusalem in 1981 and played the part of the former Queen of Naboo, Senator Padme Amidala who is now Anakin's secret love. Natalie began her acting career at the age of 12, starring as the young protégé of a hitman in 1994's Leon the Professional, and while still in high school, made her Broadway debut in a 1998 production of The Diary of a Young Girl. Currently living in Los Angeles, Natalie has been married to French dancer and choreographer Benjamin Millipede since 2012, and they have two children together. The former slave from Tatooine, Anakin Skywalker, who goes on to become Darth Vader, was played by Canadian actor Hayden Christensen, who was born in Vancouver in 1981. Christensen began his career on Canadian TV at the age of 13, then moved into American TV in the late 90s, with his early work including The Virgin Suicides, Life as a House and Shattered Glass. Although this is without doubt his best known movie role, he has also starred in the likes of Jumper and American Heist as well as reprising this role in the TV shows Obi-Wan Kenobi and Ahsoka. The former Senator from Naboo and Chancellor of the Galactic Republic, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, who is also a secret Sith Lord known as Darth Sidious, was played by Scottish actor and director Ian McDermott, who was born in Carnoustie in 1944. Making his stage debut in 1972's Hamlet, McDermott starred in a number of Shakespeare's plays and has received an Olivier Award for Best Actor. 
This is most definitely his best known movie role, but despite being mainly a stage actor, he has done other work including on the TV shows Britannia, Utopias and City of Vice. British actor and mime artist Anthony Daniels, who was born in England in 1946, played the protocol droid C-3PO, who was fluent in over 6 million forms of communication. Daniels has played C-3PO in all of the Star Wars feature movies, except Solo, a Star Wars story, starting with the original Stormen, but allegedly did not get along with R2-D2 actor Kenny Baker. He has also appeared intermittently on British TV in various dramas, including a recurring role in Prime Suspect with Helen Mirren. Daniels has been married to writer Christine Savage since 2013. Senator of Alderaan, Bale Organa, was played by Jimmy L. Smith, who was born in Brooklyn in 1955. One of Smith's early roles was playing Sonny Crockett's original partner on the first episode of Miami Vice in 1984, but in the first five minutes of the episode, he is killed by a car bomb. Beginning in 1986, Smiths began playing what is perhaps his best known role, that of Victor Sifuentes in L.A. Law. Smiths was married to his high school sweetheart, Barbara Smiths, until 1987, and they have two children. But since 1986, he has been in a relationship with actress Wanda Jesus. The astromech droid R2-D2 was played by actor, comedian and musician Kenneth George Baker, who was born in England in 1934. In addition to the Star Wars franchise, Baker's also appeared in movies such as The Elephant Man, Time Bandits, Willow, Flash Gordon, Amadeus and Labyrinth. Living in Preston, Lancashire, Baker had been married to actress Eileen Baker since 1970 until she died in 1993, and he also died in 2016 after an illness. The leader of the Jedi Council, Yoda, the centuries-old Jedi Grand Master, was voiced, as always, by actor, puppeteer and filmmaker Frank Richard Osnovich, known professionally as just Frank Oz, who was born in England in 1944. Oz began his career as a puppeteer, performing the Muppet characters of Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, Animal and Sam Eagle in The Muppet Show, and Cookie Monster, Bert and Grover in Sesame Street. Living in Manhattan, Oz married his second wife, Victoria Labam, in 2011, and is the father of four sons. Mace Windu, the Jedi Master sitting on the Jedi Council, was played by the great Samuel Leroy Jackson, who was born in Washington, D.C. in 1948. Jackson made his movie debut in 1972's Together for Days, before moving to New York but developed addictions to both alcohol and cocaine. Throughout his early movie career, he was mentored by Morgan Freeman, becoming a real box office star in the 90s after starring in movies such as Menace to Society and Jackie Brown. Jackson has been married to actress and producer Latanya Richardson since 1980, after they met while attending Morehouse College, and they have a daughter together. Now, as I said at the beginning, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and maybe got something out of it, even if you don't decide to watch the movie. Once again, please don't forget to smash that like button, or even subscribe to the channel. You know you want to, and it is free.